guys and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and we are here with the Sunday video and today we are going to do something a little bit different. So I have this sketchbook, or scrapbook rather, that I've had in my cupboard or on my bookshelf for quite a while now and I didn't know what to do with it until I was lying in bed <laughs> thinking about what I could do with it. And I came up with the idea that I'm going to practice drawing um, flowers and uh, butterflies in this book so beautiful colours beautiful nature things you know some of it will be illustrative some of it will be more gauging towards the realistic side but I just want to fill these brown papers with just colourful colourful drawings of um, flowers and butterflies so that's what we're gonna do today uh, trying to figure out different ways to um, obviously film so what we're going to be using is this scrapbook and I got it from Hobbycraft I'm pretty sure there's a label on the back there. yeah so I got it from Hobbycraft and it was around three to five pounds I don't know how much it was but to be honest that's good for this quality of paper and you can do anything in these you could um, you could use it as a scrapbook and it would be a lovely scrapbook so it has this nice design on the front with uh, metallic gold dots and it's a very sturdy cardboard cardboard thing and it also has these ribbons that you can tie it together in a little bowl to make it look cute um, so I'm going to be doing different mediums in this but they're all going to be bright colours so I'm going to use gouache maybe, I'll use coloured pencil um, but today we are going to use my favourites which are Faber Castell Polychromos um, coloured pencils and I have two layers of them here to choose from so we're going to go on to PMP, I should be sponsored by those guys by the way but we're going to go on to pmp-art.com and get a few references for butterflies and we're just going to sketch them out really loosely, it's not going to be perfect but we're going to sketch them out and we're going to uh, colour them in such a way that it's going to be bright and beautiful. So I'm going to get my sketching pencil here. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to use a light red one. The other materials that I may use are, will be um, this hybrid gel grip pen. It's in white and it's kind of like, you can build on the white. Um, so it will fade uh, a little bit. And I think that's all the materials that I'm going to use for this one. In future projects, I might use um, ink or you know loads of different kind of things um, that might be useful to use. Let's do that. I probably have to use a lot of white here. Okay so I'm gonna draw it the same way. I'll draw it a different way than it's facing I think. So we're gonna draw its head here. Its head Shape. 
Okay, so that's the butterfly drawn now and we're gonna color it in. So I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit so you can see a bit better. Um, okay, so let's pick our colors. We're gonna want a yellowy color. So I think that this yellow would be good, which is Faber-Castell Dark Cadmium Yellow 108. Another colour, maybe an orangey colour, we'll go for this one, which is Orange Glaze 113. I also want a kind of bluey, purpley colour as well, so let's go for Delph Blue 141. And we also want a dark orange colour, um, kind of muted. So we'll go for this um, terracotta 186. And I think that we will go for a black, maybe grey, dark grey. We'll go for this dark grey, which it is cold grey. Six, two, three, five. So here's our colours that we have for this and obviously we're going to use white but we'll use the gel pen for the white I think. Um, we could use the pencil as well. Maybe we'll get the white pencil and then we'll put gel pen on top so I'm going to use a luminance white pencil. I'm going to start with the white pencil. We're going to put in all the little circles and stuff that we have here. So there's a circle there. Put in little squares for variation as well. Okay, so that's all the white done now, I think. So now we are going to go into the yellow colours and I'm just going to go through all of this stuff here. Now these colours will look a little bit duller than usual. Um, obviously once you build them up they'll be cool. And I'm going to cover every little bit here in this yellow colour. This isn't an, a tutorial, so don't take anything from me. This is like one of the first times that I've ever drawn a butterfly. <laughs> so if you know how to draw a butterfly better than me, then please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Although I know what I'm doing wrong. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> Which isn't exactly necessarily doing anything wrong, but putting in this yellow colour. That's all we're doing. Ok, 
Okay, so the yellow colour's in. Now we are going to get the darker orangey colour. And I'm just going to blush this in in certain places here. And hopefully by doing this kind of thing um, and drawing it again rather than, you know, drawing a different one, we're going to learn how, like, where we went long, wrong. Like, I know I made this head too fat um, and I made the wings a little bit too small. So there's going to be things that you will learn by drawing things over and over again and hopefully you will see a difference. Your next one will be better and so on and so forth. So we will see. I really do want to do one in a different medium, but maybe that's what the next page is for. You'll do the same butterfly, but you'll do it in the next medium that you want to do it in. So, all about experimenting, guys. But drawing things like this makes your paintings better. Say if you were drawing a face and you thought, this face is plain, it needs something. What else can I put in my drawing to make this better? Um, you would be stuck, you'd be like, I don't know. But if you draw these elements, like flowers and butterflies and insects and just every little object and animal that you can think of, then you can add that stuff to your paintings and make them a lot more interesting than what they would be if they just had the, um, just had the, the face there. Let's, um, this is the terracotta colour, although I'm thinking that it's not dark enough. Kind of looks exactly like the other colour there that we were using. But this is our quick sketchy butterfly. The butterfly isn't planned out, it's not um, hardly erased as well. Like I erased it once and that's when I positioned it wrong. Um, so there's lots of things that you can learn from just drawing it once, leaving the mistake there because mistakes are good guys, you learn from mistakes and just uh, figure it out. This is how I taught myself to do faces. I drew so many crappy faces first and then I went into drawing the good stuff that uh, made me a better artist. Anyway, we're going to stick this blue in here. And it's literally just a little spot of blue here. I don't know if that's, I don't know what that is. And then we're going to go in with the grey, which is grey number six. I don't know if this will be dark enough, but we'll see. So we're going to go in with this grey here.
that that grey is a bit too dull as well so I might go in with a little bit more black afterwards. Especially on the body because the body is a lot darker. There we go. It's a very mutated butterfly. In the picture here you can see that there is a darker wing on this side than that side but I decided just to keep it the same. So yep that is the finished one. We just need to add a couple more extra bits and that's like extra highlights. So extra white bits here. So the next step that you want to ensure that you do is to make sure you don't copy from this drawing, you copy from the actual original uh, butterfly drawing. So we're going to draw another one on this side here. I'm going to make it smaller this time but I'm going to make or try to make the lines more in proportion what they were before. So we're going to draw it again. Okay, so we're going to go in with the brighter yellow first because I decided that that was a better idea than not doing that and we're just going to lightly go in with this colour here, getting lighter and lighter and as we go up these thingamabobs, whatever they're called, bits of colour. that orange and yellow I'm going to put the darker And it 
already. I think that one looks much better because we um, have already practiced it in this one and we did a better job. Now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to just go straight in with the black. First of all though, I'm going to put in sharpen the black and scratch my finger oh that hurt and then we're gonna go in with this black to in fact even if you really want to and you don't want to use that and you want a thicker more intense black you could use a marker for it we could go in and we could use a marker which would be much quicker and easier to get that vibrant black colour. And this also means that you can go in again with coloured pencils to add highlights to the marker. This is a Japanese sign pen. See that's actually coming off as blue there? It's mixing with the pen. But you can come on top of that later and lighten it up. So it's faded into blue, but that's all right because we can go over that again later. But there is a couple of little white dots on the wings as well. So I'm just gonna put a few random white dots on there. And even though in the picture it doesn't have it, I'm gonna do it on this side as well. Just a random couple of white dots, just maybe to show that it's reflecting the thing. But from doing this one first, so this was the first time I decided to draw a butterfly and then drawing it again, I think that this one is much better. It's more delicate, um, it's not as big, the proportions aren't as bad. You can see the separation of the wings without having to put a dark spot under here. Um, the black is blacker than this black. It's just a lot better, I think. So we're gonna let this dry very light touch. Now you could go in with paint which would probably be better but um, we're just going to go in with pencil here and just see if we can lighten that gel pen. Okay, I don't think we can. I don't think we can lighten that gel pen up because one, it's probably still really wet and two, 
lack as much. So, I've got America, Americana gel paint here, uh, craft paint here. And I'm just going to shake it up and open it and go straight from the bottle or to the, from the cap. I've got a little angle brush here, tiny little angle brush, and we're going to go in with the angle brush and the paint. Pop a couple of dots here and there. Because I think at this point the only thing that's going to go over kind of learning with each other guys. This is fun, right? Learn with each other. I usually just listen to music and paint and then do a voiceover, which I like doing because I like listening to music when I'm painting or drawing, but I just thought that I would do something different for this week's video. Um, I think this is the last Sunday in November, is it? I'll be posting a video or maybe we've got one more week. Okay, so this is the last uh, video, uh, Sunday video that you'll see in December. So it's going to be De uh, November, sorry. It's going to be December soon. I'm going to have to film my November favourites, which isn't going to be hard whatsoever because. You. Okay, so I'm happy with that and obviously you can keep waiting until it dries and you can keep going over it if it if it fades back to that colour. I don't know why it's doing that, it shouldn't. Um, yeah. And it's a little bit more messy now so yep, I'm very happy with that compared to the other one. Let me just go in here with a little bit of white paint and dab it on there. that's the butterfly done. As you can see they're kind of like at the top of the page so we've got all this space at the bottom so we could do two more at the bottom and then you've drawn the same butterfly four times and hopefully each time has been better. So let me go in and sketch this butterfly again. I've zoomed in and I've noticed that his um, the tip of his face is a bit more flat than I thought. I didn't think it was that flat the first time. I'm going to draw his wing or her wing, whatever, um, first. And there is a lot more ripples in the wing as well. Obviously it doesn't have to be exactly like the picture, um, you can put your own spin on it or whatever, but you're always looking at the reference picture and not the previous picture that you've drawn. And it will always come out different, but that's okay, because you're learning. But, um, what you're doing by drawing these four butterflies, or uh, well, these uh, the same butterfly over and over again, is that you're kind of imprinting it in your brain. Um, yeah, you're imprinting it in your brain the way that the butterfly 
is. So you're creating a memory of the actual butterfly. So you'll be able to say, hmm, I know how to draw a butterfly. Well, let me draw one right now. And you can draw one straight away. You won't have any problems with it. Obviously. Some people with bad memories, like me, will have to draw the butterfly a little bit more or look at reference photos a little bit more than me but or than others rather not me because I do have to look at references and I'm improvising a bit on the wings I'm not making them exactly the same as what they would be if I to copy the reference completely. Okay, I'm not as happy with this uh, butterfly as the last one. It's probably because I improvised, so I've learned something again. Do not improvise if you can't yet. Copy it straight. It looks a little bit more organic though, I will say that much. Um, I guess. Alright, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go in with the yellow first. last time so I'm not going to use the same pen this time we are going to use something else and I think I'm just going to use the black coloured pencil this time straight away um, but the reason I'm using it just now is because I've confused myself so much that I just need to pencil in this bit here just to make sure that I remember that that, that part is the bigger wing in front and this part So that's the black done. Um, that did take a chunk out of my pencil though because that pencil is really soft and it's hard to get fine details. So that's one of the things I don't like about this one is that the black lines are so thick but um, that was the only way that I could have done that then. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I am going to use this gel pen again. Hopefully it will work better and we will see how that goes.
basically the moral of the story is that if you draw something over and over again you will eventually learn how to draw it properly and to draw it the way that you want to draw it. Each time you're going to pick up something that's going to make it better and when you put all of those aspects together it's going to be the better version of it. So I'm going to actually end this part here. Um, I know that I've still got another butterfly to do but basically my battery and my memory card are running out of space and charge so I think that I've got my point across anyway. I hope that um, this was helpful to you. It wasn't exactly like a tutorial or it wasn't like a this is how you do kind of thing but um, it was just some tips that I found out that helped me with my art. So. Please tell me in the comments below if you want me to draw anything else or if you like this style of video or if you would prefer me to just speed to colour and then do a voiceover because then I have time to reflect and think about things or if you just like the raw thought process of what I go through when I'm drawing and stuff like that. So this is a lot of what you'll see before I draw something. I don't just sketch out something uh, and then rub out and sketch and rub out. I prefer to draw it and then draw it again and draw it again without rubbing out too much so that um, I'm creating a better way of remembering how to draw things. Um, that's why half of my drawings are poop because I just draw them first hand and see where I go but I'm happy that this is the first page of this book. So yep that's all I'm going to say at the moment and I hope you have a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.